Now, I did mention cockroaches. So if I were to invite you to my house for a lovely dinner, and I were to bring out your favorite dessert, and just as I served it to you, a cockroach scurried off the plate. Now, I'm a good hostess. I went to Vassar. Um, so I step on it immediately. <laughs> How many of you would eat it anyway? And there, I know there are like five men in the room who are like, mm, I eat it. <laughs> there always are. Because boys, just, they're just a different. There's a, How much you pay me? That's usually what my brothers would say. Um, we're adults. There's no payment involved. Now, you're all very bright people. Think about this for a sec. If what I just described had happened in the kitchen and you had no knowledge of this and there was no cockroach on your plate and you went ahead and ate the dessert, would you have gotten sick? No. Nope, no chance. And in fact, there are cultures where people eat cockroaches. They contain tremendous antibiotic properties and a little bit of protein. Now, does anyone want to go eat one? No. And I, get, I can promise you if I continue to talk about this, you're going to ask me to stop. Um, because you're starting to get that feeling in your stomach. Now, how, why? Well, in our country, cockroaches mean something very different. Cockroaches are a sign of something. And we all learn this because of that very powerful after-school special about cockroach. No. There wasn't a, it was that big talk that your parents gave you about. No, there wasn't that either. So how did you learn about him? Well, there were lots and lots and lots of teeny tiny anecdotal but emotionally impactful stories of this or that. What do they mean in our culture? Dirty. They mean food poisoning. They mean a weird kind of danger, a sickness danger. They don't mean that in every culture. They mean it in our culture. So the reason I'm giving you that example about the insula, oh yeah, and I think I brought a cockroach, yeah. Um, I, won't leave, I try not to leave them up there too long because um, it does bother people. Um, the insula learns. The insula learns. As you develop, it learns. And when you think about what small kids are afraid of or grossed out by, it's a lot less than what adults are. We learn what's right and wrong. We learn what's safe and not safe. We learn what's okay and not okay. So does this help us understand, huh? Why do these things seem like good ideas to teenagers? 